p.m. The uh, first agenda item is a public meeting for Lauren Mackin yeah, no. something. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Case number 2023-0131 Glen Street and want to discuss an extension for the special permit. You want to join us at the table? Could, could we? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, anyway. Um, well, I'm Lawrence Father. Mm -hmm. When we received the, um, the initial permit, it, it was for one year. And we came back at six months just for an, an update mm -hmm. on that. Um, we knew the year was coming, and we received an invitation from you people mm -hmm. to ask for an extension. So that's what we did. We asked for, for an extension. Um, we decided we don't want the extension. Uh, the last meeting, you had asked us for um, a more concise schedule to completion. I'm 70 years old and I have health issues. And if I was to give you a concise schedule, we would feel, uh, we talked this over, we would feel obligated to need that. And I, I can't take that kind of pressure. Mm -hmm. um, so a week after the last meeting, um, Ron moved out of the trailer. We moved the trailer up by the road and we have it for sale. We have two parties coming to take a look at it. Still moving out of it a little bit. And um, we're done. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't mind that. No, go ahead. <clears throat> In our zoning bylaws, um, you can't have the trailer for more than one year. It is specific. And it says may not be more than one year. So it's not an option for us to grant an extension on it anyway. So that part of it works out. <clears throat> so it's not so much a concise. Um, trying to hold you down to the day, right? Just trying to get an idea of, of what you're doing. It, it's obvious that you're trying to do the best you can and you're working weekends or whatever it is that you're working on it. But we tried, uh, we started at eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. We, um, we tried it and finished by three. And um, we'll only work on a weekend if there's something we have yeah. to figure out. One of the problems is what, I mean, we, we, get, we got a lot done inside. We got mm. an incredible amount done inside. Yeah. And we get done outside whatever we can get when we have the weather to do. Yeah. Well good thing is we're in the spring. So yeah. the weather the weather should get better if it stops raining ever. Um, <laughs> I mean um, but just trying to get a handle on you know, what your uh, time frame is. Obviously um, our jurisdiction would be under the special permit and you're withdrawing that. Um, the but building the trail, the permit. Correct. Yep. So the building inspector had just uh, given me a copy of some of the, some of his notes. Obviously, the uh, I guess it's a mute point about I had asked last time for some receipts on the. Uh, yep, we brought them yep. with us. Yeah, yep. We, yep. We, we, uh, we hired them at the meeting, correct? Yep. 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 Um, he had the note on. Well, he had. He had I just read the notes that he has, and then you can go accordingly, I guess. Um, garage demolition, um, he didn't know where you stood with that. The garage is completed, and he has inspected it. Okay, so his note wasn't. Finals, he's yeah, finals. He didn't update his note, and he handed it to me about 4.30. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm only reading what was handed to me. Yeah. Uh, sunroom framing. Excuse me? The sunroom. Have the weather, have the weather yep. hasn't yep. given but, us the ability yep, so that, to do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, uh, he has septic approval on here. Did you have a septic put in or? There is a septic system yep. there. Yep. It, uh, we'll need a Title V before an occupancy. Yep. And um, we'll, we'll get a Title V before yep. the occupancy. Yep. Um, and there was also a problem that we had with the well. Um, we were never able to get water out of the, uh, the well with the house. And when we yep. did get water, it wasn't very good. Yep. And you know, so, you know, we spent a lot of time mucking around with that. Right. Um, so we finally just decided to forget the well and go with the uh, town water. <clears throat> the, um, he met with you about the dam? He asked me about the dam. I've talked to two um, engineering companies. Yep. Uh, one of them also has on staff a dam safety officer. Yep. And um, I checked prior with um, Prior to actually Lauren purchasing the property, 
with um, the conservation people, Mr. Ziss, I made a million calls. Um, most of them, you know, didn't go anywhere other than they don't see a problem at all with the size of that, um, the water area. The body of water. The body of water. <laughs> yeah, so no, just on earth dams, I uh, have a little bit of experience with that. I have actually know somebody that has a pond with an earth dam on it. Yeah. So there is, um, through DCR, there is some regulations. That that dam isn't listed. Uh, right, it was very hard to get because, because I did check it, but yeah. it's still a dam. So there's, you might want to check into the criteria of that because they're very specific about the size of the trees that you have on there because the theory is that yeah. if the tree dies or whatever, the roots at yeah. some point right away and then the water comes through, right? So. One of the things that, that um, both of them have asked me to do is they need a concise history of that that whole pond area, when yep. it was built, because it was man-made. When it was built, they want to know the exact size of it. They want to know um, the depth and yep. measured in a bunch of different areas. Is there a spillway or anything on that? There is a spillway. The size of the spillway, they want, the, you know. No, but there's a spillway on it. So it, is it, it boards in that, or is it made? No, it's just a pipe. <clears throat> just a pipe. A four inch pipe. Yeah. Four inch? Yeah, that's it. Wow. Well, yeah. And uh, <laughs> because with all the water that we have here, I would imagine that the the only the time water starts to back up a little, maybe. So, no, huh? we we watch uh, we we watch it very closely. Mm -hmm. Every day. Yeah. Um, the only around December, around Christmas time, we got like seven inches of rain. That's the only time I saw it go up. December eighteenth. There you go. You remember the yeah. first one was on December 11th. That yeah. was four and, inches. And it went up. And there's actually a little area, um, like a relief area. And I opened up the relief area, let it out, and within a day it was back down in North. So we're doing research. The other, yeah. the other thing is there's no uh, tributary that feeds that. It's all spread there. Um, so that driveway is existing because I found an old map that shows a plot plan that shows that driveway on there that you found when you did your water line. It, so it, it, it took it took the mystery out of it. Okay, yeah, it came as a big surprise to us. He wanted to keep, he wanted to keep, he wanted to keep it. Like, I says no. I says you got enough room to put your dirt. That's right. what we want. Yeah. Okay. I says stop there. Yeah. What brought up that conversation just for your benefit? What brought up that conversation was how close you were to the body of water. So um, you just triggered concept interest so that's where that uh, came from um, so the, that extra driveway there what you know it's just there and that's it right oh yeah no you're gonna have it it's there it's been there since at least 94 according to the plan that I've seen okay. so, like I said, a while. it came as a surprise to us yes yeah. 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 it's not in very good shape either no it's not very good shape well, yeah, if you replace it, you just check with conservation so you don't get any more nonsense. I don't think I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, oh, he says garage roof permit completed. Right. So getting back to it, just, just a, a rough idea what you think kind of time, time frame, I'm sure that there's people in the audience or, or yeah. whatever that so, would be curious as to what the thought process is. That's right. all. Just trying to help everybody get their head around what's going on. Our wiring is all roughed in. Yep. The electrician's got maybe two more days with yep. work, uh, but he happens to be on vacation. So yep. when he gets back, he's going to do that, and we can get a, a rough wiring inspection. Yep. Uh, we hope the plumber's going to start in two weeks. Yep. Two to three weeks, the plumber's going to start. And, uh, and then the interior will move along pretty quickly right. at that point, and then all our time will be on the outside of the, yep. the building. Yep. Uh, I would love to see her um, be able to get in that house. You know, hopefully it stops raining. Um, and you would like to give your, give up your part-time job? I would, yes. very much so. <laughs> and, you know, do some other stuff. Yep. Um, I would like to see her in there, you know, early fall. And that, I'm going to tell you that, but, yep. you know, Yep. We're there every day. We're yep. working right. every day, yep. diligent. All I'm trying to do is answer some of the questions that, that yeah. are being asked, right? So that's why I'm going through this list with you. And, and our jurisdiction end, ends with the trailer. Um, obviously, this is Dan's meeting, and I'm going to have to shut up soon because he's going to kick me. But um, 
Uh, about all they got. This yeah. receipt, or should we give it to the building department? Uh, no, you can give them to Dan, and he'll hand them in with the packet. Okay, it's only one. Copy. It's an open receipt yeah. because we're going to have that trailer pump again. Yeah. Okay, we're hoping to sell it, but we may have to pump it before we sell yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. You need one? Yeah. I don't know what hey, you can have mine already read through it. I know. I know the whole thing by heart. No. Thank you, sir. Okay. I just want sort of the, notes. Uh, I have everything. The permit for the trailer was for six months. It, it was for a year. We a had year. A, a one year. Uh, mm -hmm. So that that's done. So what they're saying now that they have it up for sale they took it off the block that's down by the street put a sale sign on we have the sales signs on it and we've got two people interested mm -hmm. where goes from that i don't know yeah but have they sold something yeah that's under our bylaw the permitted use is not allowed anymore but our special permit we've exceeded the one year mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody have any questions, comments on this? Sir? Paul Dorf, and I, I own the property at 31 Glen Street. Okay. I just have a question. Before they get an occupancy permit, do they have to have the septic system approved? Yes. Yes. Because yep. I know they didn't have to, they bought it probably without financing it. So mm -hmm. I just wasn't sure. Yeah, he, he had stated that at the beginning that uh, the building inspectors already made him aware of the fact that he has to have a uh, Title V title done five. on it before he yeah. can get his uh, certificate of value. Because I know it's like to the left of the little garage near the property line, right. kind of yeah. where it's at. Yeah, the leach field's up there. Yeah, because the we, the we, the we had to raise the property up up there when we were building the house for show. Yeah. Because town, the old town engineer thought we were in the water table all the time. <laughs> he got you out of it, huh? Huh? He got you out. Well, we weren't. But I'm just, <laughs> no, I know that. I'm only teasing you. But he was, it wasn't bothering me, but Andy was spending a lot of money right. looking for water for him. And it was a lot of discussion about the the blocks going up the hill and all kinds oh, of yeah, crazy no, things. No. Like that. Yeah. All right. Thank you. That's my only question. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else like to speak? Okay. So you can. We want to thank you yep. for uh, taking the time. Yep. From a year ago to, to now. Yep. Hasn't yeah. Hasn't always been easy. Yep. But every one of these, you know. We'll work in the our, same direction. Our best interest in hand, and we're all working towards an end goal. Right. Yeah. Everybody had the same goal in mind to get to the to the finish line, so that's why we did what we did for you. Yeah. So. Anyways, you've been paroled from us, so you don't have to do any visitations. Okay. <laughs> well, feel free anytime to stop by and say hi. If you, yep. you, know, you want to see the progress we've made, we're yep. pretty proud of what we've done yep. so far. Yep. So. Yep. Wish you luck in the project. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Second agenda item is the continued public hearing for Don Valentin, case number 2024-04, 10 Toll Court. The applicant, would you like to join us, please? Hello. Hello. Hi. So we have, your, obviously, your application and uh, whatever information you can give us other than what we have would be great brief description uh, yeah can he oh okay <laughs> the, um, not to be rude, then, but we're going to have a problem because the minute take is not oh, going to be able to yeah. get that. Um, so, uh, in our packet, 
Uh, she actually gave us a brief description mm -hmm. of, yep. uh, of her hours and what she wants to do. Maybe right. we can try to help her through it a little bit. Your application here. I guess I'm not looking for anything, babe. Yeah. Not a lot of people. Yeah. What, what, what I want. There's a uh, description there. Right and, uh, right yeah. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. He's going to read I'm just going to read it aloud because yeah. people that are watching probably didn't hear what you had to say. And mostly the minute taker. Yeah. <laughs> so on your application, you said the hours of operation would be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and then occasional later appointment from 3 to 6.30 on Tuesday and Wednesday if necessary. I'm really only looking to do three to four massages per day and this will not impact neighborhood traffic. There will in general be only one client in my home at, one, at, at a time. So on street parking will not be an issue. Parking is available in our driveway or on the street, handicapped parking is available in the driveway. A restroom for clients is located near the massage room on the basement level. So. We've spoken with several of our neighbors in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. I would have showed up. We're not here for that. <laughs> okay. But if you want blueberry, you can <laughs> get something. What about that story? Yep. 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 Just so you know, under I'm just going to read this out loud. Um, under a special permit for for such use, if granted by the Board of Appeals, subject to the conditions including but not limited to restriction of hours and operations. So, if this gets approved, we'll presumably approve it with the hours that you proposed. And. The uh, maximum fl floor area uh, needs to be determined, which I didn't see that in the application, but. You have a, a room that you're using? Just one, one room in the basement. Do you know approximately how big it is? 12 by 15? I was going to say 12 by 14 by something. So, yeah, 108, 200 square feet. The maximum of 200 square feet? OK. Uh, and then. Um, it has to be off street parking, which you do have some. I actually drove by. And the maximum number of daily customer vehicle trips. So if you're going to propose and do three or four a day, we're assuming it'll be three or four vehicle trips a day? Yeah. We're likely not even be that much. OK. All right. And uh, such a special permit shall be limited to five years or the transfer of the property, whichever occurs first. So in the but event you you're still to looking to do it in five years, you will have to come back. Okay. <laughs> All right. And did you have anything else you wanted to add to Whatever. OK. I'm going to open it up to board members if anybody has any questions for Don. I don't have any questions. No. Ron? No. Okay. Is there anybody in the room that would like to speak on this application? Just so you know, too, no. the massage I do is therapeutic, so it's all done through COVID. It's not going to be regular service massages. Okay. All right. Uh, if there's no other information, I guess we could close the public hearing. Make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. And we have a motion by Mr. Fitzpatrick. Seconded by Mr. Palmer to close the public hearing. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public hearing is now closed. Would the board like to move forward with a decision tonight? I would. Okay. <clears throat> Can I steal that for a minute? Yeah, absolutely. And then I'm going to have to steal your, into your her application. Okay, 
I'd like to make a motion to approve. I just have to find her. I just have the whole application here. I probably should have looked at it. What, the case number? Yeah. Uh, Here's the case number. Make a motion to approve case number 2024-04. Um, don't get excited, Jeff, because <laughs> motion's always made in the positive. Um, to approve case number 2024-04. Um, and this application is for a special permit pursuant to Mass General Laws 40A. Um, it's a home-based massage therapy business at 10 Towel Court. I'm going to reference uh, out of our zoning bylaws uh, 3.2.01 accessory uses in a residential district, home occupations by special permit. Home occupation may be allowed, special permit issued by the Board of Appeals provided that. Um, specific thing that I want to pull out of here is the off-street parking. Is specific in here. So you, you noted in your application that they could park on the street. They won't be able to park on the street. That I guess you could until somebody complained. But by a proposed uh, permit, you're not going to be able to do that. In your application, you called out your hours, uh, which will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and um, on Tuesday and Wednesday, late afternoon hours from 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. That's a rare, I mean, that's a rare if someone can't make it. It's just part of your permit. Okay. So you're better off, if you're thinking of having it, put it on there. Um, and the other thing is you talked about having uh, three clients a day, um, three to four clients, so I would, uh, had uh, up to four visits per day. That pretty much concludes my motion. Okay. We have a second? A second. Okay. We have a motion by Mr. Fitzpatrick, seconded by Mr. Palmer. Any further discussion? No. No. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Your special permit is granted. It's going to take um, realistically probably 30 days. And then uh, we'll file it with the town clerk and um, we'll move it along as quickly as we can, but we rely on our town council to draft them up. So, well, good luck with your business. Thank you. Good luck. The uh, next agenda item is um, a public hearing for 36 Locust Street, LLC, Aaron uh, Sirkrat. So, so yeah. And the case number is 2024-03, 36 Locust Street. The following was posted in the town hall and also advertised in the Telegram and Gazette. The notice re read as follows. Aaron Socrat is requesting a special permit in an RA zone district pursuant to MGL Chapter 40A, Section 9 in the Douglas Zoning Bylaws, Section 9.3 and Section 3.4.3 Non-Conforming structure, Structures to construct a farmer's porch with a second story addition ab above and a 10 by 14 foot deck on a pre-existing non-conforming structure on property located at 36 Locust Street. Assessors map 221, parcel 15. Any person interested or wishing to be heard should appear at the time and place designated. Any, a copy of the application is available for review during regular business hours in the Douglas Community Development Department, 29 Depot Street, Douglas, Mass. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Aaron Socrat. I own 36 Locust Street. Uh, and uh, but I live elsewhere for that. So I wanted to live elsewhere. Okay. My son Nick, mm -hmm. aka Father Nick. Yeah. He says that there. And this is his fiance. 
say. Hi. Right. Leanne, if you get married. Very good. Do you have a venue picked out yet? Maybe. <laughs> 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 Amongst the uh, natural resources, right? Um, so I can pass these these two pictures are kind of telling enough for me just to have see. You know, we've been everyone's been there, you know. Yeah. That view on the side where the uh, existing panels are, we're proposing to come out in line with the existing house with a classic just farmer's porch coming out six feet, wingspan of house of earth, I guess, like six feet. Mm -hmm. um, and in one of the pictures I actually put a reflector inside the bush, so there's a bush on that corner, which is bigger than the addition. So, and then doing a second floor above, as you can see in the elevation, mm -hmm. um, which extends their second because right now there's a three and a half foot deep wall in the front and in the back, and it's tiny upstairs. Mm -hmm. It's three bedrooms, we've been safe. That's it, just going to get better bedrooms. And at least the house currently is 1787, it's due to be redone. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then also, we're going to reskin it, replace some of the windows in the past already, and uh, it'll get all new siding and it's due for nothing. So, that's it. But because of the cant, the angle to the street, which let me tell you, we didn't even know when you get the survey, you know. Right. Um, so we're asking for like 19 inches to come because of the cant it comes closer than the 19. Nine it is now. And then we're gonna go to 18, which 18.2, so it's like 19. So 199 is the corner of the house. The existing corner of the house Correct. to the property line. And in the picture with the angle, oh, you want to mm -hmm. pass that? Can we pass that over there? This, uh, this is telling because there's also a stone wall in about another five feet to the street, and it's on good straightaway. So yeah, we're proposing go. Yeah. to go out. That bush is yep. further out this way and that way. And that's it. Yeah, so it's not 19 inches. You're looking for 1.7. Uh, well, you can call it 1.7, but yeah, you're you're inches. within the 50 foot setback. We are. So, yeah, so you, you're looking for um, to extend the relief further than what it is. The original house is pretty existing. Yeah. And then the deck would be on the back, in line over here, but because they can't, it's kind of but still not conforming. But the deck on the back is no closer than no, the house no, to the street. Yeah, right. Because of the angle. Yep. The only thing that's closer to the street is this the front porch. The front porch, right? Yep. Because it's coming straight up, we're continuing the line. Or extending well, we're continuing the non conformity, but it's extending because of the angle of the house. Right. Mm -hmm. Did you consider doing your addition back instead of front ones? Yeah, we, we really wanted to, you know, the farmer's porch to look on that house, and then it's where both bedrooms are on either side. We can raise that to the full height and get a normal size height rope instead of three and a half inch, you know, three and a half foot deep wall in the front. So, and there's nowhere to go on the other side anyway. There's already things there built. And you there's a bathroom in the back. And it's currently a three bedroom and it's going to remain it's a three bedroom. Three bedroom. So it's septic, there's no it's way to do it. septic anyway, as of a year and a half, two years ago. Okay. Does any board members have any questions for the applicant? No. No. Anybody else in the room have any questions? <laughs> All right. So why is this a special permit? Because it's part and pre-existing non-conforming? Right. Is that what makes it a special permit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it already has its only violation. It was but it's pre-existing non-conforming. Now we're just expanding it ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. Right. It has to be determined that it's felt it's not further That, that's one of the criteria, the yeah. other one's a hardship, right? So 
Uh, the hot chip is the, is the hot one too. Uh, yeah, there's really nowhere else. And don't misunderstand me, this is just a mental exercise I have to go okay. through. Um, so I'm not trying to give you a hot time, but at the same time, we're, we're trying to be fair and consistent to everybody, right? So, um, because you really wanted a farmer's porch isn't a, isn't a criteria that's well, we in, need, a, in this little crazy we, we book, need, so. They need more room on that second floor anyway. No, I get that. I get that. Yeah. So um, that's why I asked you if you had considered going back instead of. Six and, weeks to Sunday. That's what I do. Better on right or not. I won't come here to do this. Okay. So what I was doing, I asked you if you could go back for a reason because we just need to go through this process to ask that question, right? So I started looking at the at the floor plan. So you have a set of stairs there. I'm assuming that you're going to have to. Does those stairs exist? Uh, no, they can't be existing because you put that addition on to it. These stairs here are going to be new, right? Or are these going up? Oh, these those are going are, up, going down. Okay, so that's going to stay, stay. And that's yep. going up. Yeah, that's first. So, what it, so if you... Okay. Well, it looks like part of the reason for the farmer's porch also is to get some height there in that right rafter. Yeah, right. Otherwise, you're full, you'd be coming down. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, I get that. Mm -hmm. But what I was asking, so if this this wall would just be in line with this wall, this just all slides back. If this mm -hmm. if this slid back this way, it would just overhang over here. Yeah. Um, that's why I asked that question. Um, it's still over the, still over the line either way. Yeah. What are the other houses like on the street? Are they are they 50 feet from the street? Or are they up uh, near the street? Some are. I, I'm searching for something to help me with my decision. So that's right, some are. I mean, most of them are newer. This is a really old house. This is mm -hmm. late 1700s. This is this, we have 28 acres. This thing is jammed into the corner of the property. I mean, not on purpose, it's just there. And we really got, we felt we had nowhere else to go to get the space. And within six feet, because we're raising that height from that deep wall, it really doesn't just give you six feet, it, you know, going like this or five feet. It gives you the deep wall height. So it gives you not hitting your head in the front. So that's part of it. I get it. Oh, you I, got it. I know you got it. I've done a couple. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Yep. I, it's, it's an elegant solution in my opinion. I mean, obviously, I came up with it with my son. Um, and the front of it's got some interest. And farmers' porches are generally pretty porous. You can see through them. They have um, fenestration. They have depth to a house in the front of the farmers' porch. And it, hey, it's a farmers' porch. I'm not, dispute, I'm I'm not disputing any yeah, of the yeah. aesthetics or anything. You, we, don't, we, you we don't have to sell me on it. I would put a farmer's porch on my house, too. The hardship um, is we looked for other yeah, places you yeah. can't put it. You know, yeah. the kitchen's in the back. The bathroom is in the back on the second floor. The laundry's in the back on the first floor. It's open on the front where you can expand the room. And that's really where we're at. That's why we did it. Doesn't appear you had many, many options. It's not a lot of options. I mean, this is the, let's just say this is the elegant option. This mm -hmm. is the one that preserves it looking like a farmhouse. It's going to give them the, the space they need inside, but also not, you know, the street is fairly decently wide and there is a stone wall that's up higher and the house is up higher. And it's, it is a farmer's porch, the first horse is fairly, it's not a solid wall. So That's why they joined you here. 
That's why they joined you here. Um, Does anybody else have any questions? No. Okay. All right. Um, we'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Second. Okay. We have a motion by Mr. Fitzpatrick, seconded by Mr. Forget to close the public hearing. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Public hearing is now closed. Okay. And then what I did is um, just so it was because of the printing, it was a little hard to read, so I just took his put his date above it mm -hmm. uh, on both pages. The deck does, um, we close our public hearing. The deck does call out the uh, 10 by 14, the six, mm -hmm. all the dimensions are on here. Yeah. Um, and he has his attached plot plan that shows that we're all set. So. Yeah. We'll use the plans for the addition. Yeah, we always, uh, for the in the event plot things plan. get approved, we always reference the date plan and uh, you didn't have to hide you. We could have put Aaron on there if you wanted. For the <laughs> so, um, but we just referenced the plan, so we have something to record. That's all. Yeah. All right. The board would like to make a decision. I'll entertain that. Yeah. Mr. Yes. Chairman. Yes. I move to approve the plan as presented. Okay. And we'll reference the. Uh, the house plans and the plot plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so plot case plan number 2024-03. Yeah. Okay, so we have a motion by Mr. Forgett. Second. Seconded by Mr. Palmer. Any further discussion? Yeah, I would just like to add to that that we're going to reference the uh, the architectural plans that are dated 1-12-24. Uh, there's elevation pictures and a floor plan that call out the dimensions of the front farmer's porch, which would obviously give you the dimensions to the upper level, and then the uh, rear proposed deck. Also, um, there's a certified plot plan. Nobody wants to put their name on this. Oh, Continental Land Survey, dated January 4th, 2024. Just like that, that to the motion. Okay. Second. Mr. Forgett made a um, right. uh, proposal to approve this. Mike made a couple amendments and yeah, I'm seconding it. You're going to second it. Yeah. Okay, great. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, typically, it's been taking about 30 days to get. Yes. We, yes. Yep. We'll, we, uh, it's funny, I missed the February date by two days. Application. <laughs> March, I had the privilege of being away with my wife. So we can make that, so we're going to write it over, which is fine. We'll probably get issued with the Department of the Interior. We've got lots of work to do. Mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, I appreciate your time. Let's start with what is your name? We're two weeks. <laughs> so, are we still on the record? Yeah, because we're not. We're no, still we're on still on the meeting. So i got to be careful. Yep. Okay, yep. thank yep. you for your time. Appreciate right. it. Yep. Thanks. Good night. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, January 3rd is uh, approved minutes, and I'm just looking. At yep. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a copy of that. Let's see, what, did you find it in yours? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Thank you. You got your minutes, Ron? Good night. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good night. Back at the uh, poll, it is January 3rd minutes. We're just going to see if we can approve these. Yep. Yeah. Okay. to accept the uh, 
Zoning Board of Appeals meeting minutes from Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024, as written. Okay, second. All right, we have a motion by Mr. Palmer, and second by Mr. Forger to approve the minutes as written of January 3rd. January 3rd. Right. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Those minutes are approved. I do have um, a couple of vouchers that need to be signed. I'll pass them around. And I'll just uh, kind of make mention that um, we did get a daily construction report for um, North Village, but um, our building commissioner's not here to go through them. Usually he's the one that's in contact with the right. yeah. engineer. So I guess uh, we can review them on our own time, and uh, if there's any questions, we can discuss it with him next month. Uh, no, you won't. He's going to be out on to leave probably uh, miss next month as well. Okay. All right. So, I don't know if there's anything of any concern. But yeah, I read through it. I didn't see anything didn't that was, it. It was... It was... I didn't see anything that was really problematic. No. So what we could do is just uh, maybe check with... Uh, and I think he's answered the question, but just check with uh, Jackie, make sure our affordable ratios are good. Yep. Nice little key. <laughs> I took it out of the other room. <laughs> okay. And one other thing that was listed on our agenda was um, there was a um, two applications we received uh, for potential board members, and um, one of the applicants had a personal issue and wasn't able. To plan to attend but wasn't able to so we do have four of us currently and um, we're just going to postpone that for the time being yeah mm -hmm. thank you just to give a fair shot to both applicants mm -hmm. right that's what yep. doing. Would you like a motion there, boss? Yeah. Make a motion to adjourn. Okay. We have a motion by Mr. Fitzpatrick to adjourn, second by Mr. Palmer. All in favor? Aye. 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 The meeting is adjourned at 743.